Hi, I'm Afsha. And I'm Olivia. We're Lower Town, and we're with Rob on Front Row Live. I'm excited uh, that you guys recently signed to Dirty Hit. It, it's not just any label. It's it's pretty epic label. A lot of my favorite bands are on that label. And, um, you know, talk to me a little bit about how that opportunity kind of happened for you guys and how they discovered your music. Um, well, one of our friends um, signed to Dirty Hit, I think like a year or more before. And she'd known us for a while through like Instagram and everything. And we'd met up like once before. But um she showed our music to Jamie after we hung out. Um, Jamie's the head of, of Dirty Hit. Yeah, Jamie's the, the head of Dirty Hit. And okay. um, he really liked our stuff. And he started talking to me through Instagram. And then we started texting a bunch. And we sent through some demos. And he, like, fell in love with, like, the first few that we sent. And um, I don't know. I guess, like, we just started talking from there. And he was pretty serious about getting us signed. Um, so we had, like, the whole process, like, sort of done with and then it right before we got to meet everyone and that sort of stuff <laughs> so it sort of slowed stuff down for a while um because we we're gonna meet everyone and like get comfortable mm -hmm. but um we just ended up signing anyway because we'd like talked over zoom for like months and months so we felt pretty comfortable with everyone and like our manager and like jamie and everything so yeah we signed a few months ago i don't know yeah we signed a few months ago we started talking to to jamie at like in like december of last year yeah yeah it's a process <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> yeah it was it was tough because we wanted to gauge out if like if we really liked the i mean if we knew the label or, or like the team and yeah. like because, also if we were just like wanting to sign yeah like at this point in our career and everything mm -hmm. and we ended up becoming like really like good friends with everyone and like really enjoyed the vibe of the label um and we ended up like signing just from like our zoom calls we were like we got really close that's cool so yeah. you know once once that signing happened how did that change the the way that you guys kind of create or focus on on material just because prior to the signing you guys already had a record out you guys had you know a lot of other music out as well so um how did that change the way that you guys create today well, it's definitely a lot nicer, like having a whole team with us because like we don't have to deal with all this stuff that like is just like extra work. Like, I don't know, just sourcing stuff and like finding props and everything like we find the props, but it's like it's just nice to like have people to like help us find other creatives to work with or just like have like a budget to work with because like before we were doing everything out of pocket. And now we have like a little bit of money to do like creative stuff with like we did for like our most recent music video, which was really sick. Um, and it's also just nice like having like people to sort of like have everything organized. Like I am very disorganized and like it's nice just having someone be like, oh, you need to get these things done like at some point soon. So everything's like together and like you're ready to drop the album. And like that's really nice just because normally I would like forget half the things I need to do in order to like drop an album. So it's been pretty sick having someone sort of like have everything organized for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's just, it's really nice to have like a team behind us that like, I mean, I think our, our creative process is like, is basically the same. We still like, you know, it's, it's the two of us and we like, we kind of bounce ideas off each other and we work like we work together, but like, it's nice to have like a team that like, you know, provides input and they like, you know, they like, they kind of like they gas us up if we yeah really they like, like really like make us feel really good whenever we send anything to them which is nice too <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so it's just nice to have like a team behind us so you guys recently announced uh your debut ep with with dirty hit uh which is dropping december 11th did this ep was this ep already created before the signing or is this something that kind of started happening once you guys signed with them so we've been working on like a project right after we dropped our debut or our first album mm. um and it went through like a bunch of different phases like at first we we're like oh we're gonna do like a punk project and then after we did like a bunch of like softer songs and um we eventually had a few songs written that we performed live a bunch that we really wanted to put on our next project and then we those were some of the demos that we also sent to jamie um and then we signed and 
and like our whole like attitude about everything really changed and we wrote a ton of music during that point of like our lives and it just felt like weird to drop some old songs just because we felt so like like such different people and mm -hmm. everything at that point so we just sort of we kept like a couple old songs but then most of the songs that we are dropping on this are like new because we just I don't know they felt like closest to home and everything and I don't know I'm just the most proud of them and all yeah that. we actually we started started working on the project right after our debut album so it's been it's been something since since, since 2019 um but we I, I mean like it's I mean it's shifted and changed and even the even our earliest songs now are still still have this like idea of something that like of of like this idea that connects with the songs that we wrote after um and yeah yeah i mean it's been going for a really long time it's just like we kind of just shifted the song the songs with our like emotions at, at the time and like such a big deal and like it like it really changed a lot of stuff for us so like a lot of it is that related what was that dynamic between the two of you during the writing process for uh, Honeycomb Bedbug? Um, it it changed a lot. Our our debut album was was um, a pretty straightforward process where it would be um, I would like write uh, an instrumental section and I would send it to Olivia and she'd kind of do like she'd she'd see which one resonated with her and she would kind of like use use vocals from poet or like use her poetry and kind of write like vocals based on the stuff she's written already and this project it, we kind of shared shared the um the jobs or the tasks like like a lot more so there were um there were like base like the basis see the bases of songs the basis of songs um like that Olivia wrote, like there, there would be like, um, like rhythm guitars written by Olivia and I would do instrumentation around it um, and like song structuring and Olivia would do the vocals and like the, the melody. Um, and there were times where like, where like I, I, we would go back to the original thing where like I would write some instrumentals and Olivia would put some vocals on it. And then there were some times where like- He would um, write vocals I would write and vocals. like lyrics, which is very rare for him because yeah. he's usually very shy about that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Yeah, but it's like it's like my first. I think it's my first song. I guess. Well, on the first project, I did like sing. But, but you didn't do any lyrics until now. Right. Which yeah. Is cool. Um. But yeah, yeah. I think like our, our process has been has changed a lot, and that like Olivia's gotten we're a just, lot better. We're getting and, like, better we're at getting... like our other strengths. Like I'm not good at like instrumentals, just because I picked it up like a lot later in my life. But like mm. I'm getting a lot better now, just because I've practiced a lot since we mm -hmm. dropped our first album. And like the same for Offshore. Like yeah, Olivia's yeah. Olivia's really talented, and she's really good at like writing lyrics. So like she's very inspirational to me. I wanted to get better at at not just like playing instruments, but also like the more like vocal and and like emotional side i feel like the the words basically. right how do you guys feel like you challenge each other with with your with each of your strengths and weaknesses asha like definitely pushes us to like our limit which is like really good and like that's why like i love working with him it's just because he's super like hard on me but like also supportive at the same time because like he has really high expectations because like I don't know. I'm just very easy on myself sometimes. Cause I'll be like, oh man, like I don't think I'm capable of like writing like a whole song by myself and like doing all this stuff. And he's like, no, like you're gonna do this now. And like I know, I don't know. It's just he's like very hard and like he pushes us to, I don't know, work our hardest, like work our longest hours. Like pushes me to like do my craziest vocal performances and like just be like not embarrassed about anything I do. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I think, I think like, I definitely, um, I don't know. I, I, I think I definitely see a lot more like, I, I mean, we both see in each other things that like we don't see in ourselves. So um, like Olivia's like songwriting and stuff that she can be really sometimes like be insecure about it. And like, I, I know for a fact that she can do it. It's like obvious to me that she can do it, but you know, like we, we, like I push her in, in that sense where I'm like, okay, I know you can do this. You just have to really like, you have to be hard on yourself. You have to be able to like, to push yourself past the point where you're like, even if you think like, oh, this is really bad. 
Like you just, just keep going and, and finish it. And, and Olivia definitely pushes me. I'm like, I, in the things that I have like practiced and stuff, I am very secure, but with, with anything that I haven't like, that I'm not really like practiced on, I like com- completely insecure and I like refuse to practice it because I'm like so shy and I'm like, I, I won't show it to you. Like I've been singing, but I'm not going to show you. And, <laughs> and he's like, that's so stupid. You are going to show me. You're like, you're, you should put some vocals on this, you know, be like, you can be in like your own comfortable like space, but like, make sure that you do this and make sure that you practice. So like, I mean, I, I think just watching her write and watching her create stuff in that sense has definitely pushed me a lot to um, go out of my way to like sing and to, to I mean, like I, I and sing in like our live stuff and, and be like a lot emotional. More, yeah, I'll be a lot more open with my with my creativity and my songs. Yeah. What do you think it was that that kind of scares you to do that? Um, I think for me, I, I, I don't like thinking that. I think I personally am very judgmental. I'm like judgmental of other of other people. It's not a it's not my proudest quality, but I'm very judgmental, and I think I'm the most judgmental of, of myself. So I think if like I assume that if someone were to hear me do something that I haven't like practiced and like done really well, then they would be like, "Oh, that's like that's embarrassing," and like and I've I mean I've learned over time that that's like a really bad way of thinking, a really bad thought process. Um, but just like, I guess it's like that, the sort of like people feeling like, you know, oh, this is like, he's obviously, you know, he's not that good, but he's, you know, he's trying. It's just like, I don't like to be thought about like that. Yeah. Um, so it makes me shy. But when I, when I think about it like that, that I don't even practice, I don't even get the chance to improve. Um, yeah. Now, Olivia, as far as like the songwriting goes, like, how do you feel you kind of evolved on this EP compared to Friends, the debut album? Well, I've definitely just like, I don't know, age definitely plays a factor into it. Like I was 16 and 17 when I wrote the first songs on like, or all the songs on that album. Mm-hmm. And um, now, I mean, I've just been writing a lot, like just like so much just the past few years. Um, and I think writing is like one of the things where like, if you exercise it, like you will just get better and it becomes more natural. And like, I just went through like a few phases recently since we've dropped our album where I've just written like every single day, like I've tried to write like a poem a day or like a short story a day. And like, I don't know, I definitely have gotten better just at writing in general. I also just think I've matured some in the way that I see the world and I see people and my relationships. And um, sadly, I think it's made me a little bit more pessimistic in my writing, but I think it's, um, it's like a lot more relatable to like people that are older and, um, I don't know. I think I'm just better at sort of distancing myself from my situation and I don't know, sort of looking at things with like an objective view instead of just being super hyper focused on like little things all the time. I don't know how to describe it, but um, I just think my worldview is just like a lot more mature now. <laughs> and I'm just more mm-hmm. of an adult than I was when I first wrote those other songs, you know. <laughs> so, so when you when you write these like stories or these poems that you mentioned, um, how do you guys afterwards like team up together to kind of create the songs? Um, because I, I feel like that's also a challenge in itself, transforming it from a story or a, por- or a poem to like something that we actually listen to today. Yeah, that's definitely like, it's definitely something that, that changes. There's no real pattern to it. Um, because like if there's some work that we're really proud of or that we think the, like that we could... I don't know that the other would appreciate it doesn't even necessarily have to be for a song. Um, we'll share it with each other. And like, I think we're just, we're really comfortable with each other like that. So um, there'll be times where, where like Olivia will send me something and she'll be like, Oh, just like a poem I wrote. And like, I can definitely see something really good in it. Um, or like, I'll, I'll just like hum something along in like some voice memo I send, I send Olivia and she's like, Oh, there's something really good in that, like in, in the thing you sent me. So I think there's not really a, like a pattern to it, but it usually starts out with like one of us sending like a, like a, just like a button, a butt of an idea. And we like the other one basically like hypes the other one up a lot about it. And then we're like, okay, sweet. Let's, let's work on it a little more. And like, we just sort of bounce off of each other mm-hmm. and sort of develop it like in pieces over time. Like, I don't know, a lot of the times my poetry 
ends up turning into lyrics like I'll have to like sort of cut it down a bunch and sort of take a lot of the writing out just because it's like a whole long thing mm -hmm. but um it's mostly just about like the core of the idea like what like I was meaning to say and just using it I don't know using the most intentional words possible to get that idea across instead of just I don't know a lot of my poetry is just like a lot of shit and like I just can't fit that all into a song so it's really about being very choosy and intentional with all the words and making sure it fits in like sonically sounds good instead of it's just me talking the whole time yeah. there's a few songs where I'm just like talking a bunch but like it works but sometimes it doesn't the fact that you kind of mentioned that also like with with these six tracks that are on the EP do you guys feel like there was a, a specific track that kind of challenged you whether it was like instrumentally or it was like uh, lyric wise where it was like there's too much like word vomit in a sense like mm, that's a good question um, I definitely okay well challenging wise best person like I'm glad that's already out because I can like talk about it and you guys will know but like that song I'm just not used to like singing in my lower register I've always really sung in my higher register and that one I'm sort of belting it the whole time and it makes me so uncomfortable still to hear that song because I'm so not used to hearing my voice in that way um it was really hard for me just like going through the production process like producing like alongs or like hearing the different mixes just because like I don't know it doesn't sound like me in my opinion I'm just not used to it and also I'm just like very insecure about my voice there just because I'm not I don't know I haven't had the reassurance that I sound good when I'm belting I don't know so that was pretty challenging just for me to try like different registers and like different things that are really really outside my comfort zone in that way yeah it's definitely an example of of like me pushing Olivia like me telling her like dude this is really really good like we can't we I can't. just trust him on it yeah. like sometimes I, mean, I really <laughs> trust him because mm -hmm. I'm like I don't know yeah I mean you I, should, I just, Olivia you should listen to this band called Lower Town Lower Town they're pretty cool <laughs> I mean I've like, uh, heard of them before <laughs> I mean I like that that's definitely like there's a lot of a lot of times like that where like it can sometimes be like uncomfortable for the other one for the other person and we're like this trust this, me yeah we can't like we cannot throw an idea like this away this is like really good um I think for me, uh, a big worry of mine, like, as like, as I'm like, like constructing instrumentals is like adding too much, like nonsense onto the track. Um, and I, I think just like writing stuff around, well, I guess uh, th there is going to be a song that's coming out that I, that I like wrote the lyrics to. And that was like the, the first time I've heard my lyrics besides in like, I don't know that was I mean the first time I've heard my lyrics in like in a track of ours and like it was kind of like crazy to hear it and like I, did, I guess it wasn't really like challenging but I was really like it was a very different experience I mean you had to be very open which is yeah something you're not used to being it's very yeah. open emotionally yeah and I had to like hear that like being expressed in a song I was like whoa that's crazy to hear that um yeah I think that and I think like with the process of like overstuffing things instrumentally there's uh, the last song on our um, on the project, uh, which is "Alone Again, My Friend." Um, I think it's the one you were talking about. Was the last one? Oh, sorry. We changed our track list like okay. last second before we mm -hmm. sent it out. <laughs> um, but anyway, the the project "Alone Again, My Friend." Um, that one is very like instrumentally dense and sound dense, and it was a lot of like um a lot of, like a lot of loops and it was like a lot of like creating like me just kind of sitting in front of like a pedal board and making like really really like loud like interesting sounds um and I think that's like I I really don't want it to seem like because we're not we're not a band that like does a like that blows things up we're like we're definitely like very kind of reserved in terms of like our I instrumentals and stuff so like just kind of like that was definitely sort of a, a pushing our like pushing our sound with kind of effects and, and stuff like that and and being like okay with pushing our sound and changing changing stuff that we're like comfortable with and as far as like being comfortable how are you guys comfortable being like a musician at one at one point and then turning it over to being the producer when you guys are finalizing this this ep um so that's i think i i we we've been all of our songs so far have been written and like recorded in my basement and I'll do the, and I'll do the pr like production as well. Um, like on, on this project I work, I worked together with Catherine Marks. Um, but we, 
I, I think I kind of, I write sort of like in a production way as well. I think that like a production is a very, like the production of a song is a very like underestimated instrument. I think that um, it's, it's something that like brings up a lot of, like you can, you can make a, you can significantly change a, a song with the production. So we both, I think the production, we kind of use it as an instrument. We're like, okay, this, this thing um, is kind of like, it's kind of dull and like, we need to, we need to add something to it. And, and sometimes instead of like adding a new guitar part, it'll be like, okay, we'll, we'll shift everything back and we'll, um, we'll pull out this part. Like that's kind of very deep in the track. Um, or very deep in, in an audio recording we'll, we'll pull it out and like make it like the the foreground of the song like using the production so I think we we sort of use it as a like in our process it's not uh, it's not really like too too much of a difficult change um, to like as as someone who like writes also like and and produces mm -hmm. it's like it's all it all kind of comes together and lastly for this EP it drops December 11th what what are you guys individually most proud of as far as this EP goes? That's a great question. Well, I just think as like artists, you can definitely see the progression from this EP or this project um, from our last one. Um, I'm definitely proud. I think lyrically, it's definitely improved. And I also am just proud that we've I don't know it's we've definitely stepped outside our comfort zone and a lot of our songs it's like stuff we've never done before but we've also hit close to home like um i don't know it sounds like a lower town song but like also a lot of our shit is this is you're not you haven't heard it before from us so i'm glad we've been like pushing ourselves and trying new stuff mm -hmm. and it's not just like a, an extension of the last project yeah i think i think our like the ability for like our songs to like capture a sort of like change in age i think like even even when our like 16 and 17 like your old selves like writing friends and stuff i think um even when we don't like consciously talk about it or think about it it's always like it always reflects like ch like huge changes in our lives and huge like age differences and we never we never really talk about it but it always comes through so we we have we we go to these different areas instrumentally and, and sonically but we still are able to um, have that feeling of like, you know, like, like things changing with time and like how, how that's like affecting us. And like that, that sound is still coming out while also being able to like experiment and change the general like sound or general like feeling of our song. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I've been listening to this and I, I like what you guys have so far. So uh, I'm very excited for you guys. I, I first got wind of you guys last year with Caroline and, uh, Definitely happy that you guys signed, especially with Dirty Hit. I feel like that's such an incredible label. So thank you again, guys, for taking the time to talk to me and congratulations once yeah. again. Thank you so much for having us.